Hey there, fellow denizens of the Undercity. It's your favorite guide to all things Arcane, back again with some thrilling news. Can you believe it's almost time for Arcane Season 2, Act 3? The anticipation has been building up for months, and the excitement is palpable. The wait has been excruciating, but the end is finally in sight. We've all been counting down the days, hours and minutes, eagerly awaiting the next chapter in this epic saga. Are you ready to dive back into the visually stunning, emotionally charged world of Piltover and Zaun? The animation, the storytelling, the characters, everything about Arcane has captivated us from the very beginning. After that cliffhanger ending in Act 2, I know I'm on the edge of my seat. The suspense has been killing us and the theories have been flying around like wildfire. We were left with so many questions and the stakes have never been higher for our beloved and not so beloved characters. The tension is at an all-time high and the drama is about to reach its peak. Will Vi and Caitlyn's bond survive Jinx's wrath? Their relationship has been one of the most intriguing aspects of the series and it's about to be tested like never before. What will become of Echo and the Firelights? Their fight for justice and survival has been a beacon of hope in the dark alleys of Zaun. And can anything stop the looming war between Piltover and Zaun? The political intrigue and the brewing conflict have set the stage for an explosive showdown. Before we delve into the release schedule and other exciting details, let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to in Act 3. Your thoughts and predictions are what make this community so vibrant and engaging. What are your predictions for the final three episodes? Will we see unexpected alliances, shocking betrayals or heart-wrenching sacrifices? The possibilities are endless, and the excitement is through the roof. The fan community has been buzzing with creativity and passion. From fan art to cosplay, the love for Arcane is evident everywhere you look. It's amazing to see how this series has inspired so many people. And let's not forget the incredible work done by the creators, animators, and voice actors. Their dedication and talent have brought this world to life in ways we could never have imagined. As we gear up for Act 3, many of us are re-watching the previous episodes, catching every detail and reliving the emotional roller coaster. It's the perfect way to prepare for what's to come. So mark your calendars, set your reminders and get ready for an unforgettable experience. Act 3 is just around the corner and it's going to be a wild ride. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more updates and discussions. See you in the next video and until then, stay hyped for Arcane. Arcane Season 2 has opted for a rather unconventional release schedule, divided into three acts. This decision has certainly caught the attention of fans and critics alike, sparking a lot of conversations and debates online. Act 1 premiered on November 3rd, followed by Act 2 on November 10th. Each act has been eagerly anticipated, with fans marking their calendars and planning viewing parties to experience the new episodes together. Now, get ready for Act 3, dropping on November 17th. The countdown has begun has begun, and the excitement is palpable as fans speculate on what twists and turns the story will take next. This staggered release is a departure from the traditional binge-watching model, and it has sparked quite a debate among fans. On social media platforms and forums, discussions are heating up as people share their thoughts and theories. Some argue that it disrupts the flow of the story, forcing viewers to wait and speculate between acts. This waiting period can be frustrating for those who prefer to consume the entire story in one go, without interruptions. Others believe it builds anticipation and allows for richer discussion and analysis of each episode. By spacing out the releases, fans have more time to dissect each act, discuss theories, and engage with the content on a deeper level. Personally, I'm intrigued by this approach. It feels like we're getting event television, with each act serving as a mini cliffhanger that keeps us watching. The anticipation and excitement build up with each passing week. It feels like we're getting event television, with each act serving as a mini cliffhanger that keeps us hooked. These cliffhangers create a sense of urgency and make each release feel like a significant event. What do you think of this unique release strategy? Do you find it refreshing and engaging, or do you miss the ability to binge watch the entire season at once? Your opinion matters, and it's fascinating to see how different viewers react to this format. Do you prefer the traditional binge watching model, or does this approach enhance your viewing experience? Binge watching allows for an immersive experience but the staggered release can make each episode feel more impactful. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about how this release strategy affects our viewing habits and enjoyment of the show. Your insights and opinions are valuable, and I'm excited to hear what you think.
In a world of endless sequels and spin-offs, it might come as a surprise that Arcane will conclude with its second season. Co-creator Christian Linka has stated that they always envisioned Arcane as a two-season story, and they wanted to stay true to that vision. This decision speaks volumes about their commitment to quality over quantity. Rather than stretching the story thin over multiple seasons, they're choosing to deliver a tight, impactful narrative that leaves a lasting impression. In an industry often driven by commercial success, it's refreshing to see creators prioritizing artistic integrity. Do you prefer shorter, more focused series like Arcane, or do you enjoy sprawling epics that span multiple seasons? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Section 4, Critics vs. Fans Who Will Win Arcane Season 1 was met with universal acclaim, garnering a near-perfect 95% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. This animated series, based on the popular video game League of Legends, took the world by storm with its breathtaking visuals and compelling narrative. Critics and fans alike praised its stunning animation, complex characters, and emotionally resonant story. The intricate world-building and the depth of the characters made it a standout in the realm of animated series. But will Season 2 live up to the hype? This is the question on everyone's mind as the release date approaches. The anticipation is palpable, with fans eagerly discussing potential plot twists and character arcs. While early reactions to Season 2 have been overwhelmingly positive, it's inevitable that some critics might have different opinions. The first season set a high bar, and expectations are through the roof. Perhaps they'll find fault with the pacing or character development. Pacing is often a contentious issue, with some viewers preferring a slow burn and others wanting immediate action. Maybe they'll feel that certain plot points stray too far from the source material. Fans of the original game have strong opinions about how the story should unfold, and deviations can be polarizing. But ultimately, the most important thing is how the show resonates with you, the viewers. Your personal connection to the story and characters is what truly matters. Do audience ratings and critical acclaim influence your decision to watch a show? It's interesting to see how much weight we give to these scores when deciding what to watch next. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We want to hear your opinions and predictions for season two. Will it surpass the first season or will it fall short? Let the debate begin. Section five, Beyond Arcane. What's next for Runeterra? Arcane has opened up a whole new world of storytelling possibilities for the League of Legends universe. With its rich lore and diverse cast of characters, Runeterra is ripe for exploration in various forms of media. Imagine a gritty crime drama set in the seedy underbelly of Zorn, following a young Echo as he navigates the treacherous streets. Or a sweeping epic chronicling the rise and fall of the Sherman Empire, with champions like Narsus and Renekton at the forefront. The possibilities are endless. Which champion story would you like to see explored in a future League of Legends show? Let me know in the comments below. Section 6. The countdown is on. The wait is almost over, fellow Arcane enthusiasts. With Act 3 just around the corner, the excitement is palpable. We're about to witness the culmination of years of hard work and dedication from the talented team at Riot Games and Fortiche Production. Get ready for an unforgettable conclusion to this epic saga. Prepare to be blown away by the stunning animation, the heart-wrenching drama, and the epic battles that await. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and join the conversation in the comments below. Let's count down the days together.